Tubies. I'm glad you guys came back for another episode. We're working on Wanda again, and it's the last final pieces to make this thing to be able to be roadworthy. Temperature sensor. An oxygen sensor. A timing light. And well, the one thing I forgot yonder way, the coolant to put in the radiator. But we gotta do the temperature sensor first so we don't put the fluid on the floor. So this guy behind the shadow, that's the sensor we're gonna be replacing really quick like. It looks a bit like this. So we've got it broke loose now. Oh, it's just fingerable here. Well, I don't know what to say about how that looks, but we got a new one, so it looks bad to me. Look how good this one is, because it's shiny. We'll just thread her in there, just like so. Super easy task here. Yep, it's in there. It's done. Now we could put some coolant in this hole. Since that temperature sensor is now installed, we could put the water, the coolant, the cool down juice. We're moving on. Pretty decent pace now. We got a little bit of coolant in the radiator here. Right there. The jack stands of the rear, they came out. That way we had the lane and put the air bubble toward the front, but it's not working. So, before I start this engine, start warming her up and getting the water pump flowing, let's uh, put this oxygen sensor in real quick. Real quick, like. So let's take this plug out real quick. Plug, be gone. Okay, now let's get this out. All right, first things first. Verify the clips are the same. Look the same to me. Second thing, second. We should probably put some anti-seize on these threads. But this guy, he don't have none. And he's anxious to putting this puppy together. So we'll fight the oxygen sensor out the next time. And then that's in. And we can wrap our wire around and then up to here. And clip her to in. Another simple task knocked out. Super easy. So I think now it's time to start letting this puppy warm up. Getting at the engine temp. Filling more coolant. And then we can get to timing this puppy. Because I hear that doing it at a running temp is the best. We got her running here, getting up to temperature. Water went down a little bit. Thermostat's still not open yet. But she's running good. Smooth. Don't worry, I got the door crackled. And uh, you hear how quiet it is? This car's never been that quiet in me owning this dang thing. Here we are sitting in the car, my fluffy steering wheel. It's a bit dusty. But the temperature gauge is higher than it ever been. So I think that's starting to work. We came down 500 RPM. The check engine light went off when we put the O2 sensor in. Oh, I did forget to do this which this is on hot all the way this one you know she don't do much Let's put it on that one put her on the full blast I know she's on the hot all the way because you know she was left on hot 
in the engine bay up there. One day I'll tear this back apart and fix it. Man, she's just running so good. So I'll feel comfortable about that this is at temperature running temperature when this thermostat opens and more of this disappears but for now I'm pretty happy more time is passing this is starting to get warm so I think we'll soon be opening the thermostat look at the orange color coming in on that header she's getting nice and warm So I think it's warm enough. I didn't really see this fall, but I'm gonna pretend it's okay. And maybe it needs the pressure in the system to circulate and then it'll get the air bubble out. But I don't know. The gauge is saying it's okay. The, you know, it's not too hot. So. You know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to do the timing. So what they say is this guy right here. Here's some light on the situation. This guy. So we just, we unplug it. Okay. We leave it like that for a minute. We kind of make sure this is in the middle so we got some variation. And then we start the puppy back up after we do this one task that I forgot to tell you about. So what we're gonna do that I forgot to show you here is we're gonna pop this off. Oh, maybe. Uh, how do you, how, what? Just be, be nice. All right, popped off to access this little guy, okay? And what we're going to do is take this wire and we're going to put it in one pin and the other end is going to go in the other pin. Okay? Something, you know, like this, I guess. Just loop it. Now, we could take the key and we could put her back in here and start her back up. And you see the check engine light over there? Them flashes mean something. So, once you get that thing in there, then you start the car back up. Remember, you got that taken off. Obviously, you get your timing light set up. Negative power plus your sparkulator one. And then you take this little window thing, you know, this little guy, closing that plug. And I don't know if you guys can see in there. But you line up the pointers that are in there that you know every time it flashes it should be there and then when it's at the zero you lock her down here it is everything's put back together we got the air filter put on for some crazy reason i double checked we're good there all that research come together I have one little issue and I don't know if you could see that puddle right there and that drip but that's 
coming off them heater car hoses up there. See those two going right in that firewall? Dang it! So I'm gonna try a, a clamp first. And hopefully I could just get a, a worm clamp on there, maybe give it a little bit of a tighter squeeze. And hopefully it, that's just the issue. Hopefully. But if it's not, I guess we're doing a heater core on this puppy too. But hey. Oh well, right? So we're going to find that out later. But this thing runs. As happy as can be. Do you hear it? Want to give her some revelators? Did you see that sucker? Just putting the torques out. But you know what? I am freaking happy. Like, you know, very happy because she's finally almost roadworthy. I was hoping to be that way by the end of this video, but I am running out of time. It is like one o'clock in the P of M. You know, I should have been asleep like five hours ago. But I was so antsy and excited about getting this thing running that I just had to say the sleep can wait. Which might be a bad idea and I might be regretting that later. So, I'm gonna have to wrap this video up right here. And please come back next week is what I'm gonna say. And I appreciate you guys for watching and the support. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment what you thought. Because we're here for a good time, not a long time. Stay motivated, my friends.